Man, it's a freaking toss-up on which bike is better, the Meteor 350 or the Classic 350. I flat out love them both. What's up riders, old man Ronan here, and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I'm telling you, I've been riding the uh, Classic 350 all week and had a great time doing a two-up uh, video with the Iron Lady, and uh, I gotta say, the more I ride the Classic 350, like my experiences down there in Savannah, Georgia, compared to what we've been doing around here, you know, riding uh, some of the better roads uh, that we have with twisties, and oh man, I I'm telling you, I love this bike. and. The, the only similarities I can say between the two, the Classic and the Meteor, is the engine. Other than that, they're completely different. The way that you ride them, I, I, <laughs> I want them both, man. What's up with that? I really do. These things are fun. Now, right now I'm doing, the, I'm in a kind of like inner, inner city type of thing. I mean, for me, a city is like Newark, Ohio, which is about... 35 40,000 people I know I know it's a tiny little place but for me this is about a city as I like to get uh, but I'm telling you here we're doing 60 miles an hour we got plenty of throttle left over uh, I just love this bike man it, it'll do pretty much anything you ask it to do into that range you know I, I, I have a lot of people comment all the time about well it can't do 75 or 80 mile an hour on the road well I mean it'll hit 70 but it's a 350 <laughs> if you're spending 90 percent of your time over 70 mile an hour and i know the guys in california are doing that well then well not in la <laughs> they're, they're going like 10. but in most cases if you've got if you're traveling a lot of the uh, you know the the super highway stuff yeah this really isn't the bike for you neither is the meteor but if you're just riding around the country roads if you live uh, in a intermediate city that has uh 35 to 55,000 people in it. This bike will do anything you ask it to do unless you're going on a really long trip on the super highway. Other than that, you need to try these things out. That's all I like to say. Put your misconceptions away and give it a freaking chance. That's all I have to say. Give it. No, I guess it's not all I have to say because I'm going to keep on talking. Go! No! Give it a chance, guys. Take the thing out for a ride and see how much enjoyment you get out of this bike. Because I'm telling you, I get a ton of enjoyment out of both the Meteor and, of course, this Classic 350. And I just simply love the way it looks. It is beautiful. I'll put some pictures in right here. So what has the Classic 350 meant to me over the last several days? Well, I gotta be honest with you. I had a lot of experience down in Savannah, but it was in a controlled situation. The fact that I've been able to ride the bike on my own now here has really opened my eyes. I actually like it better now than I did down there. And to the, to the point where is, if I could get a good deal on one, because everything's about money for me, guys, I hate to tell you that. Uh, but if I could get a good deal on one, I would buy one in a heartbeat because I do like the bike that much. Like I need another motorcycle, I know that, but that's how much I really enjoy this bike. And I would love to play with it a little bit. Like I said, I, I, I don't want a rear seat, uh, even though Iron Lady and I do really well on this bike uh, when we go uh, two up. I would much rather, much, much rather have a single seat in this motorcycle for my own personal, because I want this to be my personal bike. And I think that's kind of the, uh, the thing that I would really like more than anything else is to have one for myself. Oh, see this this bike does well back here guys. 
<laughs> this is the kind of place it's made for and this is fun again you've got a stable machine that rides beautifully in pretty much any situation I, I do like it guys I do like it like I said the upright stance is different than the meteor and the meteor is more relaxed even though uh, and, and the basic change is the frames the same except the foot pegs are five and a half or six inches farther forward on the meteor not a lot that's why I call them mid forwards they're not really uh, truly forward controls uh, they're they're more mid forward uh, these happen to be uh, dr almost directly under your your knee uh, for a taller person I got a little bit of angle uh, but it really is a, a motorcycle that uh, that gives you more st you know straight up seating position than the meteor does uh, I do like the fact that it's got uh, almost like a, 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 a nice little rise in the bars here that gets you at a good riding position uh, I don't think I'd want them any higher than this for because I do like to throw this bike around a little bit it's light enough and nimble enough that you can do that but as far as the rider triangle and stuff guys I really think it's comfortable uh, I, you know the only thing I would probably do to this motorcycle uh, like I said if I if this motorcycle was given to me or I was able to buy it at a good price which I'm sure that uh, the guys up there at Mid Ohio would try to find the best price possible but it's hard for me to buy brand new bikes if you know what I mean uh, but if uh, if I was able to buy this bike I would make sure that this rear seat came off I would put some long ride panniers on it because they're so old school looking and this thing would look like it just was dropped out of an airplane during World War II well the signals edition would but this thing would as well too I mean it, I just love the look uh, it's just beautiful <laughs> Man, look at this where are you riding today <laughs> It is a beautiful day. It's, uh, I think I started out, it's about 72 degrees. I'll put the Celsius up in the corner there, just to give you an idea of what we're doing and how we're having fun. Out here in farmland. But what a nice day today, guys. I'll tell you what, I'm sad to get rid of the Classic 350. Really enjoyed having it last week. Like I said, you guys seen the two up we had uh, uh, in a, one of the other videos where we were, uh, doing 70 miles an hour 72 mile an hour on the uh, on the classic here and like I said this this bike the, the meteor we get the same performance out of both of them I think this one does uh, really well on gas too I filled up before I uh, left and uh, I'm getting 73 to 76 miles a gallon out of this thing which is perfect I really enjoy that uh, I think if I had it longer and it broke in a little bit more, but I think the gas mileage would go up over 80, to be honest with you. And I keep my hand out of the throttle. <laughs> but as far as just everyday cruising, if you're getting an average the way that I ride, a 75 miles a gallon, that's a big thumbs up, baby. That's a big thumbs up. But I like cruising about... I think 60 is my favorite uh, number to hit here uh, on this motorcycle when I'm on a, a road like this, uh, you know, definitely a secondary road. But, uh, you know, again, you, uh, in your, whatever your favorite type of riding is, but this bike will do 60 all day long, which means you can do light touring on it, or I should say ultra light touring. And the bike comes to a stop fast which again i mentioned in one of my other videos about the braking power of this bike and i think it's a little stronger than what like the meteor is it does stop faster the the plunger in the rear brake seems to be not as much travel and uh, i think that's uh, that's a big factor the meteor and especially the himalayan and of course the continental gt and the uh, and the interceptor all have a little bit of travel that sponginess that you get uh this one doesn't have that as near as much and i don't know if it's the the way that they angled it the linkage or the fact that they changed the plunger i do not know that answer um if i find out i will let you know but the reality of it is it, it does seem to stop a lot faster and man it handles so nice i had one of my uh one of my subscribers comment about all the snakes in the road and we call these little tar strips snakes and uh, when it gets really hot out they get a little squirrely <laughs> and they get a little rain on them they get a little squirrely in other words if you can stay off of the snakes <laughs> but they don't seem to bother me so sometimes I just you know, I, I, I challenge fate and say go ahead baby here I am riding the snakes but it's not that hot out today so 
And I'm kind of an idiot that way anyway. You're an idiot! Well guys, we've been riding here a little while. We're just on the outside of, uh, well, I've got about another 20 miles to go, but I think we're gonna end the video right here because I think you've got a full view of what I think of the Classic. I think it's a great motorcycle. I wish in the world I had one simply because I want all the things. <laughs> I know, I know. I should be ashamed of myself, but I'm simply not. But if you did enjoy what we've talked about with the uh, Classic 350, you know, the fact that it rides so well, it gives you a great up, upright uh, stance to it. It handles beautifully. That J series engine is just, uh, you know, I would say as near perfect for a single cylinder as you could possibly get air cooled. I just love this engine. Doesn't vibrate, but yet still gives you enough tactile knowledge in your feet, in your, uh, in the seat of your pants, and also on the handlebars to know when it's time to shift. But it really does a remarkable job. I really do love the Classic 350. Guys, I want to really encourage you. If you, even if you have a big Harley Davidson or a BMW or uh, Triumph or whatever brand that you have, and you really enjoy riding it. Give the old Classic 350 and Meteor 350 a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. It completely will change your perspective on small engine bikes. Well, if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Share and comment. You know I read all the comments. And comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, guys, ride safe. And above all, keep her on two wheels, baby.